My name is Mark Essex. I've been working in extractive industries in developing countries for close to 15 years now. The importance of investing the assets wisely, whether that's health, education outcomes, or whether it's infrastructure within the country, is a really critically important decision. What will often happen is that you'll see uh, large numbers of people who are moving into the community to, to get jobs or other economic opportunities, and unless that is managed and handled in a, in a sensitive and a sensible way, you could get great social dislocation that can arise from that. One important way to think about the way the benefits accrue to a host country is of an inverted pyramid whereby you have a lot of the large benefits accrue at the national level and then as you come further down from the national to the local community level that's where the benefits typically get narrower and narrower. A lot of the disbenefits and the costs are actually accruing at the local level so that's where you might have noise, of, you might have pollution, to actually be able to create um, a system of extracting oil, gas and mining, it has to seem equitable to everybody who's involved, maybe trying some mechanisms to share some of the benefits which accrue at the national level down to the local level. But one of the challenges that many low and middle income countries face when they have an, a, an asset like this and they've monetized the asset, the demands from the population are so great for health, for education, for infrastructure, for power, it's incredibly hard to take a longer term view than this is why the Norwegian model is actually often not particularly relevant, at least in terms of how they manage their, their revenues, because they can take a very long term view of how they invest their resources. And that's probably one of the, the biggest problems that developing countries face where you have weak institutions and, and populaces are not able to hold their governments to account for the spending of that money. So some of the key messages are invest your resources wisely. They won't last forever. They're a finite resource. And if you keep liquidating your assets and not investing those assets, there's not, you're not going to be able to make that next dump, jump to another level of development. There are so many more examples out there of countries which have done it badly than the countries which have done it well. You know, there's, there's no popping of champagne, there's no celebrations that you found these, these mineral resources. They will bring tremendous challenges for you. Make sure you take it calmly and soberly and, 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 and take it one step at a time.